What up guys, it's your boy Brad here with another guitar lesson, uh, minus the theory, so not too much thinking, but just a couple of tips on some little things I've been thinking about on how to improve your sound when you're strumming, or how I have improved my sound over the last few years of playing. Um, an interesting thing that I've been thinking about is um, sort of changing your tone through your strumming and also your volume to increase your kind of your range and the depth of your sound. Uh, it sounds kind of complicated but it, it's not really once I explain it. So say when you first start playing, we'll, we'll start with just two easy chord jam. So like an E minor, you guys see that, and an A minor, most people know this, you can google it. but. Most people will start out playing usually just with their hands and they get a down up, down up, just something simple like this. Some little things to add a bit of, I don't know, sprinkle a bit extra on your sound. Um, maybe try adding extra emphasis on your first strum and sort of making it loud and then quietening off again, sort of loud quiet and, and you get a bit more of a flow to your sound like instead of just the, the same sound, the same volume, same everything. Get a bit more to it. Um, another thing that you can do also is um, I've noticed that well, it's especially with a pick you can you can see it. Um, when you strum here, for instance, you get kind of a mellow sound, like right by your fretboard. And if you strum again at the back of your sound hole, this will actually be the loudest place you can strum. And then if you get it right back up here by the bridge, you get a real twangy sound. So mellow, loud. So if you blend that in with your sort of hard and quiet, so you get the soft and loud change and you also get a tonal change from sort of mellow to twang, I don't know what you really call it, but it can really change your sound from the original, we'll just play original again. We mix it up with the... Yeah, so, not really a huge, amazing tip, but um, if you just think about that when you're strumming, you can add a bit more, sprinkle a bit extra onto your sound, and yeah, have a muck around with that, guys, and that's all for today. Cheers from Brad.